Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pokemon Weekly where I give you guys some recent updates, news, and announcements regarding the Pokemon TCG and other related media. First, just a quick update for the Big Time Pack Battle League Season 3. The Round 3 or Quarter Finals begins on August 19th, lasting 4 days to August 22, so that's this coming Saturday to next Tuesday. The product could be any 3-pack blister or 3 single blisters, and of course, there's a competitive pick. Once those battles are finished, we'll be doing Round 4 or the semifinals starting on August 26th and 27th, so that weekend. Any other information or updates will be added to the website in real time and I'll link you guys to the official website in the description box down below. Now without further ado, let's get into some gaming news. First off, Lycanroc has been revealed to have a third form. The Dusk form kind of looks like a recolor of the midday form except it's orange. In the show, the rock ruff that Ash owns will evolve into this form and potentially there will be a fourth form revealed called the Dawn form so I'll be sure to let you guys know that in the next Pokemon Weekly but let me know what you think of this form. We'll be able to get it in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon coming out this fall. No way to evolve it into this form will be revealed in the future. In the TCG, the SM4 set Crimson Invasion will be released in November. Of course, the Japanese counterparts will be released a little bit earlier on September 15th. Silverly GX has been revealed. It's a normal type with 210 HP stage 1. Its ability is Gyro Unit. As long as it's in play, all of your basic Pokemon have zero retreat cost. Nose Turbo Drive, 120 damage, and attach a basic energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. And its GX attack is is Rebellion GX 50 times the number of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Also, to no surprise, we are getting a Beware in SM4 as well. <laughs> Interestingly enough, it's going to be a fighting type. It has 130 HP, its ability is called Fluffy, letting it take 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks, and it knows cross cut 60 damage plus 60 more if your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolved Pokemon. As for products, on September 5th, we are getting a Charizard GX Premium Collection box. As a full art Charizard GX promo, a jumbo card of that promo and foil promos of Charmander and Charmeleon from Burning Shadows, a Charizard pin, a Charizard coin, six packs, and an online code card. 10 days from that on September 15th, we'll be getting the Conmo OGX box, coming with a hollow Conmo OGX promo, jumbo version, four packs, and an online code card. Also on that day, Battle Arena decks for Landorus and Genesec will be released. On October 6th, an Alolan Raichu box is being released in Europe. It'll include a foil promo of Alolan Raichu, a jumbo version, three packs, and an online code card. In America, it'll have an Alolan Raichu figure instead of a Jumbo card, as well as four booster packs in place of three. November 17th, the day Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are released, a Marshadow box and Silverly box will be released. In Europe, they'll of course have foil promos, Jumbo cards, three packs, and an online code card for each one. Not sure what will be included in the American releases, but they'll likely be figures in place of Jumbo cards, just like the Alolan Raichu box. Also on November 17th, a shiny Silverly GX box will be released with the promo, a Jumbo version, four packs, and a code card. One last thing to be released on the day Ultra Sun and Moon come out is a Premium Trainers XY Collection. This will have 14 full art promo cards. It'll also include a metal Pikachu coin, two sets of 65 card sleeves featuring Xerneas and Yveltal, one double deck box of the two Pokemon, two sets of dice, two XY series booster packs, and an online code card. These will all be in a large kickstand type box with the main focus of course being the full art promo. So the retail price for this will be $100. Ugh. Way later on December 1st, a Shining Legends Zoroark pin collection will be released with of course a promo, a pin of Zoroark, three packs and a code card. Shining Legends will of course be released around that time. And last bit of news, you can now get Pokemon cards in Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm sure there are some videos on YouTube right now. But yeah, there's one pack in each cereal box, three cards in each pack with one guaranteed to be a hollow. The set has 12 total cards, eight of which are common reprints from Sun and Moon sets. The four hollows of course being Black Star promos for Rowlet, Lit, and Poplio and Pikachu. That's pretty much it for this episode of Pokemon Weekly. Let me know down below what you think of Lycanroc's new form. All the stuff being released between now and December. What do you think of that $100 box with the 14 full arts in it? What do you think of Silverly being the main mascot of SM4 or Crimson Invasion? Are you excited for that set? Are you excited for Shining Legends and so on? So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye.